Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. I am just gonna take a moment because I am so excited to be back at my house, in my little studio, doing my thing. And I did wanna jump right back into some DIYs, but of course with the timing of everything of when my brother's kitchen renovation is finally going to be done, because currently in Miley time, it's still not done. So hopefully that turned out well. Hopefully. Did you guys like it? I don't know. We'll find out. So that being said, with the timing of everything, this first video back at my house is going to be a little bit different because I'm not really sure what I am going to be doing in this video. It's probably not going to be much, but this is still going to be one of the biggest projects I have done thus far on my house. Well, the biggest project we're having done to our house. So I wanted to make a video of this whole process. And of course, if you clicked on this video, you know we're getting all new windows. Honestly, I feel like this is like really a, an adult thing because I never thought in my life I'd be so excited for new windows, but I am so incredibly excited for new windows. And don't even get me started with our current windows. They are old. They are gross. They are filled with spider webs and bugs. This. This is a giant spider web and it can't be cleaned out. Like this, this window quite literally cannot not be cleaned out. And most of them don't even open. And if they do open, I have tried to clean them out and they cannot be easily cleaned out. You have to reach up with a Swiffer thing between the glass and the screen and I can't clean them out. And I don't know if this is like an normal old window thing, but you need a key to open each window. So if you lose the key, you can't open your window. That makes sense. Also, one of them I did break because there was a wasp in the house that stung Bonnie, so don't come after my child like that. And I was trying to kill it, and I broke a window. But besides all that, the main reason we are getting new windows is our windows are incredibly inefficient, meaning we pay a lot of money to keep our house somewhat warm in the winter and somewhat cool in the summer. And even then, we could run the air constantly, and it's still really drafty throughout our entire house. So we have had this project on the book since February and the windows are getting installed at the beginning of June and we are about a month away. So I wanted to start this video and take you guys on this whole journey. And the most exciting thing about this whole project is one of the windows in our bedroom we are making bigger, much, much bigger. So this week I need to sit down and find a company to open up this wall and frame it out for the new window. So I really don't know what is gonna be in this video. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing in this video, but you guys know the drill. Let's get into it. Thank you for choosing Michael and Son Services. Thank you for choosing Michael and Son Services. Thank you for choosing Michael and Son Services. Hi, I'm just calling to get a quote on a pro upcoming project that I have for my house. Hey, we don't do that type of service. Oh. I would need like a... Okay, first one, out. <laughs> Thanks, Michael and Sons. Miley, M-A-I. L. Usually we do more of the paint and then we do some carpentry, like carpentry on the side in addition to the paint. <sighs> Unfortunately, it might be a little bit small for us. We. <sighs> we do basic framing, nothing structural. Okay, guys, that was incredibly stressful. I hate leaving voicemails and I had to leave so many voicemails. Also, I have this weird irrational fear that I'm gonna say I love you at the end of a voicemail because the only people I leave voicemails for are family members. So if I'm leaving a voicemail for a non-family member, the entire time I'm like, don't say I love you, bye. 
But besides all that, finding a company that would actually take on this project was incredibly hard because if the company fell under more of like a handyman service, this project was too big. And then the actual renovation companies, this project was too small. So there was only a handful of companies that would actually take on this project. And the company I'm going with, they were easy, they responded really quickly, and they were able to give me an estimate right away. So all I had to do was take a picture of the inside of the window, outside of the window, and then send them the new measurements. Whereas the other few companies I found, they had to send somebody out in a few days to measure out the space and then give me an estimate. And I don't have time for that because tomorrow I'm going back to DC to help my brother finally finish his kitchen. So we have a company, um, it's all set in stone. I paid a deposit, so we're good to go. Okay, so today is the day before the windows get installed. We have a lot to do. I want to clean my entire house so that it's ready to have people all up in it. And then I have to take down the curtains and blinds that are on each window. And Jordan is outside cutting down a few plants that we have around some of the windows. But before I do all that cleaning and stuff, I'm going to go outside and try to get a quick thumbnail for this video. I kind of want that tree out of the way. I wonder if Jordan will cut it down for me. Please be careful. Please do not try this at home. We have a trained professional right here. Can't believe he's doing this. Hey, there she goes. Now you just gotta get back down. Yeah. <laughs> be careful, please. I have married a monkey man. <laughs> nope, I can't get it. it. Lovely. Oh, yeah, I didn't plan that out the best. Clean up, clean up everybody everywhere. Now I get to go look at my house for the first time without trees covering it up. Wait, wait, wait. Yo. Look at that. It looks so nice. You drive in and you see our house. <gasps> wow. Today is the day. I have had too much coffee already. Mm. Well, so both companies, what is this? I don't know what this is, but both companies should be arriving any minute now. The company that I hired to enlarge and frame out the new window for our bedroom, they should be arriving any minute. And then the people that are actually like installing and doing the windows will should also be arriving. And they'll be working at the same time and hopefully avoiding each other and not getting in each other's way. And hopefully I can film them and also not get in their way. I'm gonna have to awkwardly ask them if I can film them. I'm not good at this stuff, but that's all I know. So, yay. A few moments later. I asked them, they were cool with it, but that was the most like awkward nerve wracking thing. Well, uh, they've gotten started and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let them get started before I awkwardly start filming them. I'm pretty sure I figured out what my job is supposed to be. It's keeping my cats calm because they're gonna freak out. I have one window in, and I'm FaceTiming my mom. <laughs> and another window, Woo! It's happening! Say hi, mom. Hi, honey. <laughs> well, I'm trying to not be in anybody's way, so I am just on the patio eating mashed potatoes. With barbecue sauce. <laughs> I mean, did we even question what I was gonna go with as far as colors and windows? I'm truly shocked right now at how fast everything is moving. <laughs> like, I think there's already like four windows done and it's been like maybe an hour. Huh. Guess replacing windows is not that hard. I mean, there is a lot of people here, so that's probably it. Honestly, that's why I probably takes me as long as it does. Has 
decided to lay in the middle of everything so that as people walk in and out of the front door, they can gaze at her beauty. Look how beautiful that is and how clean it looks. So clean, no cobwebs to be seen. So except for the window that we are having enlarged, every single window in the house is in. It's not like, I don't think all of them are like officially installed. They've obviously got some work to do to make everything look nice um, and you know, fix some stuff that got damaged. Um, but like everything is done. This is insane how fast it is. <laughs> Guys. I have something to actually do. I can't do it today because I don't want to like be in their in um, the people's way. Um, so I'm gonna have to do it like probably later on this week. But where they opened the wall for the new bigger window, I'm gonna do all the drywall and um, trim around the window because I didn't want to pay extra to have other people do it when I can do it myself. And also it gives me something to do because I'm really bored. <laughs> it's fun having other people do things too. Like it's crazy how fast it's all moving. But at the same time, I'm really bored. And I'm like sitting around like, put me in coach, put me in. It's like literally a bench warmer over here. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go back to chilling on the patio. I could also go look for new curtains or make some new curtains or walk my cat. You like potatoes like your mom? Yes, you do, bunny kitties. You like potatoes like your mom. Oh, don't you dare. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope, you are not going under there. Also, if you're wondering why this is not centered, it is centered on the outside of the house. Guys, I have been like a wild bird let out of a cage. Kaka. Yeah. <laughs> so it has actually been a week since the windows have been installed. After they were installed, I got very overwhelmed because there have been so many projects that I've wanted to do at my house that I have been sitting on until after the windows got installed. So once they got installed, I just got very overwhelmed, did not know where to start, didn't know what to do. I have just been all over the place with my thoughts and planning. And now it is a week later and I still have to do drywall. <laughs> so I did lie to you guys. I said I was gonna do like the insulation, drywall, and all the trim work around the window. But the guy that installed the windows is coming back in a few weeks to install the basement door that we got. Everything was supposed to be installed all at once, but the door had some kind of delay, so that's getting done in a few weeks. So he's gonna come and do the trim work. Mainly, I think he just doesn't trust me to do a good job. Rude. You know what, maybe I should just do it and then show him and show him how good I did. I have the drywall already. I was gonna use some insulation that Jordan told me was up in our attic. I went to look at it. I am not gonna use that. I'm just gonna go get some new stuff, some fresh stuff that hasn't been sitting in an attic for 40 years. Let's go get that stuff and get to drywalling. Boom, I got some insulation. Also, uh, this stuff is way heavier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm back and I have insulation. Whew, this stuff is heavy. Also, I got Red Bull, sugar free. I'm a sucker for a sugar free Red Bull. Mom, do not come for me in the comments. I know I have a heart condition and I should watch my caffeine intake. I have had too much coffee. 
clearly I do that. Before I went to the store, I watched a quick video just to make sure I wasn't being completely stupid and that there's not more to putting insulation in your walls. It is just as straightforward as you think it is. I just have to cut a bunch of pieces down to size to fit in all of these little squares that I have over here. So I'm gonna get to work cutting all of this down. piece right here that I can't tell like there's some insulation back there but then there's a part that doesn't have insulation so I think I'm gonna have to cut like a really long skinny piece and try to wedge it in between this 2x4 and where this drywall starts. How did I lift this thing? Holy crap. I have the uh, piece of drywall in here. So I'm just gonna take lots of measurements, make lots of cuts, and my goal is to have as little seams as possible so that it looks more seamless. <laughs> Woo! Okay, I'm gonna I'm do that. <sighs> This is the right width of drywall and everything, but for some reason, this is sticking out more than this drywall. So now I have to figure out why this isn't working. Okay, I just have to show you guys what I'm working with because I was like, why is none of this working out? I called my brother he explained things to me that basically if pieces don't match up, you just have to skim them with mud and smooth it all out. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm looking at. So when you take this off, obviously you've got the old boards and the new boards. You can see that pretty clearly. This matches up as in, and is nice and flush. These pieces right here come out just like the smallest amount. So when I put the drywall piece up, I can hold this and talk. Um, when I put this, this side goes flush with this old drywall and then this side does not. So I am just gonna have to put these up and then skim the crap out of these seams so that it looks nice. mud this wall. We've got some joint tape. I've got mud. I've got a spatula thing. Let's get to work. Stop making noise for like a few seconds. The kitty's kitty cat. He is Clyde. He is Clyde. I hope I don't leave this in the video because this is just embarrassing. It has been a few days since um, I did the drywall and the joint compound because I came back yesterday and the joint compound was still drying because joint compound dries a lot slower than say like plaster that you would use to fill in like a small hole in a wall. So with that being said, I now need to get to work making this thing look nice. Now that that first layer that was covering up all of the joints are covered up, I think I can really get to work actually skimming the wall out and hopefully making it look as nice as I possibly can get it. Wish me luck. I is here to help. Yes, you are, buddy. You're a good boy. Okay, 
guys, I have made the executive decision that I am not going to fully finish this drywall project in this video because I have done three layers and I have to wait 48 hours in between each layer and I'm guessing I still have about two more layers to do. So at this point, this project is kind of hindering me being able to post this video. So when I officially finish the drywall and they put the trim around it and the wall is painted and maybe we have some curtains up, I'm gonna take a picture and just post it to my community page that thing that I hardly ever use. But I'm gonna post it to my community page and on my Instagram so that you guys can see how this project turned out. Okay, so let's talk about these windows. We did go with Anderson windows and before this project, I knew nothing about windows. I knew nothing about window brands, but in the months leading up to this project, I have learned that Anderson windows are some of the nicest windows that you can get. And anytime over the last few months leading up to this project, somebody asked us what windows we went with and we told them, Anderson, they're like, oh, you went with nice windows. I didn't know that, but they're apparently they are very nice. And honestly, any newer window would have been a step up from what we had. And now that the windows are in, I can tell how nice these are. One, with any newer window, they should be easy to clean, but these are the easiest windows to open and clean that I have ever seen. There's two little mechanisms that you just kind of click in, click in, and they pop out. And you might've noticed we changed the design to our window. We used to have grills, which are like kind of those little lines that make up the design in the window. And I didn't really have a strong opinion on whether we went with grills or didn't have grills or maybe switched up the number of grills we had. And so Jordan really liked the clean, kind of more modern look. So that's what we went with. And ever since I moved in, I have desperately wanted to paint my house a different color. And now that we have these sleek, black, modern windows, I cannot wait to paint my house. And beyond the design and look of these windows, these windows are also incredibly energy efficient. And I actually had a special guest come and film with me to show you guys how efficient these new windows are. Guys, we have our very first special guest on my channel. This is John. He was the design consultant on this project and he really helped us out so much. So I asked him here because he did this really cool demonstration for us that really solidified the fact that we were gonna get new windows. So he is going to do this demonstration because it's so <laughs> cool and it basically shows how inefficient our old windows are and you're gonna get to see how efficient our new windows are. So we're gonna do a small demonstration right here. Okay. So we have our heat lamp okay. and we have our BTU meter. Ooh. This is going to measure how much heat is actually being produced. So let's turn it on. Actually, would you like to be my assistant? Would sure, you... <laughs> yes. <laughs> would you mind turning that to 100% by pressing that percentage button yep. in front of that? Okay. I'm going to demonstrate a couple of different types of glass because, as you know, not every window is made energy efficient. Of not course. All glass I have is... one of my old windows here. <laughs> right, exactly. Not energy efficient whatsoever. Not whatsoever. <laughs> Um, so I used to live in a very old house. It was around 113 years old. Yeah. Yep. Single pane glasses, not the best, not the best at all. Yeah, right there. <laughs> but I want to show you how efficient this is actually going to be with the with the heat. So okay. we're set at 100%. Yep, it's set at 100%. So I'm going to put that in front, and you let me know how much heat's um, coming through from that. 81%. So that means 80% of heat is still coming through. So in other words, that's what you're dealing with with your house. <laughs> yes. 81% <laughs> of our heating and cooling was just out the window, right. <laughs> literally. And one of the things that I tell any uh, any customer is you probably hear low, low E. Have you heard that before, low E? Yeah, yep. Most all. So I want to showcase what a typical low E, a hard code low E is. And low E is essentially saying that there is gas injected into the actual uh, glass. So that creates a, a more of a barrier for insulation. So you can see with the low E glass, how much is that? 60%. 60%. And the great thing is with Anderson, we've been really innovative in terms of our windows and our doors and our technology. Yep. We created a high performance glass, which should be any glass company that's out there. Okay. So I want to ask you, what would wow you? You probably already know <laughs> this, know, so I what know. would wow you? <laughs> I was like, but I was wowed back in February. <laughs> oh, but I do remember what we guessed. We guessed 20%. 20%, which is a great guess. It's yeah. a lot better than most of the double panes and yeah. even triple panes there. Yeah. 
So actually, let's just do a quick demonstration too. I have five panes of glass right here. What is five panes, what does that give me? 32%. 32%. Now this is our high performance smart sunglass. So just two panes of glass. Two panes, 1%, guys, 1%. Well, let me ask you this question. How yeah. much of a difference has it been in your house? Oh my gosh, it's literally been a week and a half since we got new windows and we already don't have to, it's summertime, so we don't have to run the air nearly as much. Good. And it's also, the other thing is, we live off of a main road, so we have cars driving by our house. Our house is so quiet. Oh, good. So it's also, for like where we live in our property, it's also made such yeah. a difference being off of a main road. Oh, that's awesome. Well, here's the final test, because I would love to showcase on your actual window. Window, yeah. But here's the other test, too. Since that's been heating up for a while, Yeah. Touch one side and touch the other side and let me know. That is a very hot side and that you hardly even feel anything. It's still cool. Yeah, that's incredible. That is incredible. That's incredible. Right. You're such a salesperson. You, you were like, <laughs> I'm gonna be tripping over my words. I'm really camera shy. And now you're like killing it. You're like, now let me show you. Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome to John's channel. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? <laughs> Um, so I do want to take the test and show it on yeah. your actual window, so yep. if you don't mind. Yep, let's um, do it. Okay, it's set to 100. All right, let's see what it's going to show. Okay. It, it was at zero. It kind of keeps flickering between one and two. That's Much incredible. better than the 80-something percent. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, guys. Thank John. Leave some love in the comments. Also, he wants to start a YouTube channel, so oh, yeah. you should encourage him also in the comments to start a YouTube channel. Let's go. Woo! So, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. I appreciate Yay! it. Yay! All right, bye guys. Bye! <laughs> And that is it guys. I hope you liked this video. I know it was kind of different and it was kind of all over the place, but you got a little bit of everything. You got a little bit of Miley just being Miley. You got a DIY that didn't go according to plan, but when do they ever go according to plan? And I hope you learned something from John. I'm so glad he could come back and do that demonstration for you guys because I had no idea how inefficient windows could be. And I just realized with all the excitement of cutting down the tree and everything, I never got a picture for my thumbnail so I'm gonna go do that and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys